Coach talked with Ty on his way in, and he talked about just like how tonight's kind of a, a test the maturity level of yeah, this team. Yeah, good what, point. What does this, this game kind of test with you guys? Tests our depth again. We're going to go deeper, you know, and, and now we have, um, you know, we've got two ways that are playing and, and, and guys that have been, I mean, personally, I like games like this. It tests your, um, um, your whole roster and, and also gives opportunity guys that have been uh, really working their tails off, working their tails off in G League practices, extra work group. Um, so um, I'm really anxious to see, uh, see how some of our young guys play. For the first 15 games, we were you know, kind of joking about learning through only wins. Um, obviously, learning through a loss last night. Like, what's kind of what's the biggest takeaway? A lot, yeah, a lot of takeaways. Um, I didn't think we were ready for their physicality to start. Their defensive physicality. I was surprised how they um, they got into us, got into the ball, and then, and then uh, really didn't let us screen. Um, you know, so um, that that's a lesson. It was almost. Uh, they were kind of playoff ready in, in that first half. It took us a half to adjust. Um, we, we, we did a better job in the second half, but you know, you get, get down that deep on the road. Um, it, 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 it's, a, it's a tough comeback. You, how important was it to see Evan kind of take over that third quarter and how he can grow, not only yeah. the ball in his hand? Yeah, and then important lesson for me, how do we make sure he touches the ball in the fourth quarter? You know, and, and that's, you know, I, I said it after the the press conference last night you look I think coaches look in the mirror after games like that man what could I have done better and, and that was one you know we did not um, seek him out we did not he didn't get enough touches um, and I keep keep saying this we we got two of the best guards in the league but we need more variety and Evan is the key to that variety and and we did not do a good job you can't just keep lining a, a, a good team up like the Celtics and trying to you know play pick and roll all the time or isolation ball. So um, lesson learned, um, and Evan was was uh, yeah he was fantastic. Donovan obviously got hit in the mouth by Jason Tatum last night. He had a bloody mouth. Uh, is he going to be 100 percent to go again? Yeah, <coughs> ready to go. <laughs> Excuse me. That with uh, the first natural break in the schedule coming. After tonight's game, you guys will have played 17 games. Just overall, what have you learned about this team over the first chunk of the schedule? Oh, um, I keep saying how connected they are. That's a word that just keeps coming over and over, how connected they are. Um, and listen, they think they're good. Like, they know they're good. I shouldn't say they think they, they know they're good. Um, there's, a, there's a confidence about them. Not a cockiness, a confidence. Um, um, and, and you know that's that's uh, um, I, I don't know what it is. it's comforting, right? Um, it's it it bodes well for the future because um, you, you got to have to go into the Boston Garden. You're gonna have to go into Philly and, and win big games, and um, you need that confidence. <coughs> you need that <coughs> bravado, and we're we're in a good place uh, uh, with that. I feel good about the team from a. Uh, uh, mental, mental aspect and, and uh, spirit ac uh, ac um, aspect. And then Darius is out tonight. Listen, with the groin, is there anything that's concerning long term? Or no, 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 no. Um, he's run the tenth most miles in the league. Um, we've, we've, um, you know, we've we've ran him hard. You know, we and and to spectacular results. Um, so um, it's more precautionary. He took a bad fall last night. Um, and we, you know, again, collaborative decision. We all got together, including Darius, and, and uh, um, yeah, he'll, he'll sit this one out tonight. Jeff G, uh, Coach talks about opportunity um, out in Bud, Greg Porter's done Man. the last couple games. He was fantastic uh, last night. You know, we, we used him in that. It's funny, you don't know when something's going to manifest itself. And, and we kind of know, and, and this is a little bit the Gary Payton model that I've seen in, 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 in Golden State where you use him almost like a fullback, you know, and, and we use him in a half roll. And, and you know, he's got this body, like this, this kind of stout, strong body. He's quick out of the roll. <laughs> so they put their five on him last night, so we used him, um, used him as a screener. Which uh, uh, really was a fact, really how we got back in the game. He started getting in that, in that pocket. Now you got a guard in the pocket. And now he can he can spray out, and he's athletic enough to finish. Um, 
and then uh, you know we've asked him to be a defender, um, and and he he's got great instincts. Um, really, really, imp I was really impressed with him last night, especially in that environment. Mark, it was Darius last night, but this is more of a in general question than, than last night specifically. One of your guys is not making shots at the cup. Do you want him? Is he empowered him to kind of try to shoot out of it, or at yeah. some point do you say, hey, it's not your night? Let's give him one. No. We texted after the game. I said, uh, I was proud of you for keep, you know, um, um, that you kept kept being aggressive. And um, he texted me back. He said, Yeah, I'm not. Last year, I, I, uh, I probably wouldn't have done that. Like, I would have, you know, I would have kind of been shot, which, which surprised me, right? I, I see Darius. I'm like, This guy's going. He keeps going. He keeps going. Um, and, and, uh, um, so I, I think that speaks to the confidence level we're, we're talking about, but also your your coach has confidence in, in, in the quarterback. Like, you know, we we uh, we've won a lot of games because you're 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 really good, and just because you're having a bad game, it's like, oh hey, let's 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 hold back here. Because I felt like he was getting getting in the lane, getting in the paint. Um, you know, I've, I've talked to him about um, maybe using that probe dribble a little more with you know the Nash dribble where. Hey, if you can't finish, just keep that dribble alive, keep probing, and he's done a good job. It felt like last night he was a little bit rushed on his finishes, but uh, listen, the guy lives in the paint, um, and I want him to shoot more threes. You know, can you trade a few of those, you know, non-paint twos? Um, you know, can you know where? Because he's an elite three-point shooter. Tim. Tim, you mentioned tonight's uh, a bench type of game. Yeah. That's your system, that's your philosophy. But has 6 through 10 or 11, has that production exceeded what you anticipated originally? Um, hmm, good question. I guess, yeah, it's been better than I thought it would be. Um, you know, Ty obviously playing at an elite level. Um, and then George has been, been fantastic. I mean, our bench last night was, was the best part of our game. <laughs> so, yeah, I, 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 you know, I don't – I funny I haven't looked at the auto you know what his bench numbers and, and, and but, but, but my gut is you know throw Karras into that mix um, he's played unbelievable so those guys have yeah definitely um, definitely exceeded expectations yeah you know you're yeah. talking about um, I think your players have gone through do, do you and the coaches get weary I mean three games a year and four nights home on the road back home you sound tired right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're all tired because we're all doing this job, right? Like, you guys got to work, right? That's funny. We're, we're, I mean, the player's number one, right? It's like, <laughs> like we, we can do it and we, we get through it. I, I just don't know how they do it. Like, I, honestly, 17 games in 29 days. Like, and, you know, the league is playing faster. Um, it just, it just facts. I think we all agree with that. So, um, it, 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 it's just amazing, you know, the, it just speaks to the athletes uh, that we have. And, and, and then, you know, what our, um, what our medical team, our performance team does to get these guys ready. Like, oh, here we go again, three and four. Um, we're playing the Bulls. We're playing, you know, Charlotte that runs up and down. So um, it's, a <laughs> it's a battle. It's, def it's, a def it's a mental and physical, physical battle for all of us. Yeah. Spence. Uh, it kind of plays into that a little bit, but uh, you kind of spoke on closeouts last night. Uh, sometimes there's a little bit of overhelp. What kind of constitutes what you want to see when guys are, are either running them off the line or contesting out there? It's really hard against a against a team like the Celtics that got five shooters, and and with Horford shooting like, you know, like he's Ray Allen, it, it, it's like, you know, in, in, because I still believe, and and you guys can argue, I still believe you gotta you gotta protect your rim and protect your paint first, you know, and and um, I believe in it, um, and 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 then it's 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 finding the appropriate help. Uh, I, I I do think we got caught probably um, five, six, seven times where we did not read the drive correctly. So if the drive is controlled, there's no need to help, right? You can be in your shrink spot in your spot, but I felt like. We're a little bit like, man, we all, a little bit like you soccer, we all kind of go to the ball. <laughs> and then it's like, come on, guys, we, we had that one under control. And those are the nuances, right, like of, of, um, of, of reading the game. And, and it's something, something we got to get better at with, with uh, as we've talked about, ad nauseum, you know, everybody shooting so many threes.
is there pick your poison? Is that kind of personnel based on who you're facing, whether you For want to sure. give up more on the, the pain or give up more on the outside? For sure, but I, I, I was looking at the box scores last night. It's like, it's like every team, 51 threes. This team, put, you know, even the you know, middle to lower level teams, it's like everybody's shooting them now. I think the Celtics is, you know, is a little bit of a copycat league. Um, so you could say, okay, we're not going to close out on this guy tonight, or we're going to leave him alone. All of a sudden, he dings you, you know, four for five threes. You're like, well, the statistics say he can't shoot, but if you have the green light, like, you know, like, <laughs> if every, everybody's got the green light today, it seems, you know, and 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 it's it's just what the league has become. So, um, but that's part of our job as a coach. Is that, Where's the what are the trends happening in the league? How quickly can we adapt to this? And I, I, I do think we have to make, you know, we we got to we got to be aware of this and 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 shift our defense a little bit uh, to understand, you know, to cover out to the three point line better.